Okay, welcome to a new series, Planet Zoo. Now, I know that this game is very difficult to stream. For some reason, people don't like to watch it. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just gotta see what it's like. Now, this is my avatar. Looks okay, I guess. Should we change the glasses? That's a hat. Oh, okay, let's put the let's put the glasses back. <laughs> that looked horrible. Alright, for this I think it looks good. Looks looks like me, right? Looks like me. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe this um this is more like me. Yeah, that's more like me. A bit more poofy here. Right, this is close to it, but I like this more. Alright. Uh, slim. No, let's go to step. No, let's go back. Slim. Slim is fine. I'm not um, tall. No, I'm not gangly. Teen. Teen's better. <clears throat> I like to be a teen. All right. Uh, what do we do now? We turn this one around. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. It's good, no? All right. Let's go. Accept that. <laughs> All right. So what are we gonna do? We got him over there. Can we get him off the ball? No, he's, he wants to stick there. Sign up for your avenger. I don't want that. Go away. Um, I don't want to do timed one. Do don't do. I don't think I'm ready for challenges yet. Franchise: build your zoos around the world and trade your animals online. I don't want to do that. Let's, let's go to career. Oh. So let's see. We got uh, this lion here. Why is there a lion there? This is a lion in London. Stately homeschooling Goodwin House. Well. Let's do the tutorial first. Uh, let's go for uh, yeah. There's an easy version, and a medium, and a hard. Well, since I don't know shit about this game, <laughs> I'm gonna try medium first. Okay, let's just try that first. Okay, go 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 go. Uh, animals marked as shy in the Zoopedia are much more vulnerable to stress, but lots of guests are watching. Well, he's gonna get lots and lots of stress. You can reduce stress with screening plants. But how do I see the zoo animals if the screening plants are all over the place? Hey Simba, can you move on? Animals can often be kept in large single sex bachelor groups that mixed sex breeding groups. What? You can larger, okay, larger groups. Okay, so basically bachelor groups can be bigger than, than uh, single sex group, whatever a sex group. Shells must be big enough for animals to fit inside to count towards their shelter requirements. Okay. Plan for juvenile animals as they mature into animals. They may need a new habitat to move or to move onto the zoo or to be released to the wild. Okay, we can release them to the wild. Hello. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? Looks like good. looks cool. Looks good. Very very shaky ah. though. Heyo at Hematu. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, oh, sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> And even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> All right, Bernard. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, what are you our sadly? old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. <laughs> Poor fur devil allergy. kept sneezing his dentures into the uh, lion habitat. So, it's up to you to allergy. finish everything. Oh, come on. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire or... Even better, one that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can we get started? Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Now, what are we supposed to Hello do? Hello there. Oh, no. Rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. 
But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Hello! Hello, little guy. Hello. Sh I'm going to call you Shelly. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? Locate the grizzly bear habitat. Uh, grizzlies like to be in... Oh, there it is. Is that it? It looks like it. It's, it's, Did you it's, know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people oh, would do that too. <laughs> he just moved his big butt in the camera. <laughs> Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. I mean, let's click on this guy. He's 8.5 years old. Welfare is 99%. Good. Nutrition's good. Social's good. I'm going to call the vet. Should we call the vet? C call the cleaner. Should we call the... Uh, this no. is where you can find out <clears throat> all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Uh, is a camera? Oh, there is a camera. Oh, I like that. Oh, we can watch it swim. That's See, cool. Now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You oh, can yeah. also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Okay, well, okay, that's cool. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Alright, let's see. Where, where are the lions? Oh, there they are. Hey, we got some lions here as well. Panthera Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. Which is <laughs> precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Okay, let's do that. So we got an empty habitat somewhere. There we go. And do you want me to do what in this habitat? Adopt and place two. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, um, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd <laughs> like you to adopt a pair of them. To okay. adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay, I get that. I get that. So animal trading. And, oh, here we go. That was fast. Adopt your warthogs. Okay, well, I want to adopt. Ooh, two hundred sixteen dollars. There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally, right. the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. I would actually do that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, okay, there we go. We got two warthogs sent to zoo, waiting to trade, waiting, waiting in trade center. When you center. adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center, where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? All right, well, send to the zoo. Um, should I click there? Delivery has been scheduled. All right. Okay, so that's is that good? Did I do did I do good? Is it what about the other one? <clears throat> I got no more animals. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, this one is still in the trade center, so I'm gonna send this one to the zoo as well. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Okay, let's do that. Where is it? Um, you didn't mark it at all. Oh, there it is. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yep, there we go. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. What does that mean? Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. 
You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically oh. how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. I get that. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. But the Zoopedia is too big! My brain will explode! Okay, um... What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Set up the common warthog habitat. Add feeding Let's station. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And oh, for yeah, the warthogs, it it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. A water bowl? It's not a dog. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We got food and water. This is a food trough, small. This is a water bowl. So we got to... Wait, what, what do we have to do again? What was it again? I, I missed that. And this is a visiting thingies. Ah, crap. We lost it. Let's go to a habitat. Let's, um, let's add. Hmm, this is a heaters and coolers, beds and shelters. This is enrichment items. Okay, we we need to get a feeding station. So I want to get a feeding station. I want to put it a little bit somewhere. Let's do, like, apparently, putting it here makes it not work. Okay, cool. Let's put it. Let's put it there. Can we do that. All right, excellent. And let's get a drinking station and put that over there. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> to roll that bath around will in. Towards their enrichment welfare, <laughs> specifically their toy enrichment welfare. All right, let's get a habitat. Let's go to enrichment and add, this is a hundred. Oh, okay, it's a hundred dollars. Never mind. A hundred dollars for a mud bath. Now, I want this mud bath to be close to the people so they can get dirty as well. There oh, you go. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. I think now, so. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's okay. over near the hippos. All right, well, <laughs> it's over near the hippos. I have no idea. What, oh, there, I think that's it. It's kind of, kind of, kind of bluish. So it's difficult to to miss if I get it right. Uh, let's go. Oh, wait, one second. I need to drink something. You gotta play this game with two fingers. All right, there we go. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Wait, what? This is the objectives. This is the objectives. Ah, oh, okay. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, so we gotta pause the game. Ah, that's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration, because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Spinning Let's out of control. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. That makes sense. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. Barriers. Need to get a habitat. This is a gate. This is a wall. But I can't. I can't. Okay, I can. I can actually place wall. Nice. Oh, not there though. Hmm. Let's put a gate. Let's see where can we put it? We can't put it there. This is like it's. Um. Let's put it there. And what's this? Um. I don't know what this. What does what does this do? <laughs> this ah, uh, just give me a gate, you bloody freak. Okay, that okay. That seems to work. Now it gives me a pass automatically. Uh, if I this is oh really cool. Look how it stretches with the wall. I like that. So there's only there's only so many spots I can put this thing. Uh, I can put it there, I guess. Well, let's put it there. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. 
I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's go and add... Oh, I can only do, like, do little stretches at a time. That's it. Okay, let's just see if we can't match... Oh, why can't I make this a bit smaller? Uh, let's do like that. Um, that... Oh, this is way too much. I need to reduce the size of this thing. Can I can I get rid of this? No, that doesn't want to do that. Um, what does this do? Well, it makes it taller. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's just leave that alone, right? Let's leave that alone. And uh, can I can I I can't I can't seem to make the wall any smaller than this. All right, fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So can we? What does this do? Oh, that's, uh, okay, that makes it go to the next one. Okay, cool. We're learning. We're learning. Good work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. <laughs> at least not without a stepladder. <laughs> But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Wait, wait, wait. Why are stepladders ba banned in this game? All right, well, let's, just, let's go to barriers. And uh, we need to put a glass barrier here. Wait, is that something we can do? We're just doing more wall, aren't we? Can I deselect that? I need to, I need to glass. I need glass. I don't know. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. I, I'm pretty sure of it. The thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation what? boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Oh, okay. We need to have a donation box. Can I unclick this thing? I want to unclick this thing. There we go. That's better. Uh, I need to put a donation box. So that's weird. This is a donation box. Okay, this is a donation. What is this? Uh, stalls, drinking stalls, finance, donation box. What a stupid idea! Why don't you have? Can I can I rotate this thing? Why do we have to? Why do they have to? Now, I don't get that. before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Hey. How can I make this curve? I want to make that curve. Can I go to barriers? Can I? Oh, I can't do the barriers anymore. I want to. I wanted the. Okay, I can. I can. I can. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. <laughs> Bloody hell! All right. All right. Let's unpause the, the way, time. As well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. Five. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. Well, that's nasty. All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? <clears throat> oh, yeah, let's for sure. Let's get four of them in here. All right, four. So let's get some ostriches. Uh, oh. Adopt my ostriches. I will adopt you, and I will adopt you, and I'm gonna christen you, and I'm gonna adopt you. I'm gonna uh, whatever. This one's what's this? This this is a one one point two four appeal. What does this one have? One point one eight. Oh, I like that. This is nice. All right, let's go to open storage. Uh, this is new. Let's send him to the zoo over there. And let's go to the next one. Send you to the zoo as well. Why can't I send all of them at the same time? It doesn't make any sense. And send to zoo. And I want you. Oh, this one already gone. Cool. That was fast. 
While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Yes, they can get a very nice view of the animal. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go to habitat. Um, we need to get food and water. Let's go to foodies. It's a large bowl. I need to put the large bowl somewhere that people can actually see it. Like right there. And the watering station. Let's put the watering station over here. Oh, that ostrich was fast. You see that? It went, went right for the feeding station. <laughs> Let's put an enrichment item. A slow feeder. Uh, you only have the slow feeder? That's all? Shall we put that there? Oh, what, what? Good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? we just unlocked a, a statue? A bronze lion statue? Okay, cool. What does that do? What does that do for us? Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? <laughs> every time we get an ostrich so now we've made the ostriches lives a bit better let's do the same for the keepers shall we to make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos we should build a new keeper hut keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals i don't like her voice uh, her voice is so annoying. How do we build a keeper hut? Let's see, facilities. What's this? This is a classic keeper hut, and this is the Planet Zoo keeper hut. I'm gonna go for the classic one, I you guess. You need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Oh, we need to go. Oh, we need to go over there. All right. So, how do we rotate this? Um, let's see, rotate is Z. Um, like so. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. Cool. All right. Excellent. Is that good? Bam. That's a uh, keeper hut. Can we check inside? This Ooh. keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, <clears throat> but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Uh, yeah. Something that all facilities, shops and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hat. Oh, so let's seriously? place a transformer next to it, shall we? A transformer? Why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you have a transformer at the beginning of your park? Why would you need a transformer inside of your park? I don't get that. Now the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Okay. So let me just see if I can turn this thing around. I need to have it a little bit. Does this thing need a connection to the road? Why? Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. Oh they want no. to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. I see it, I see it. Okay. And you want me to get this thing? Let's see. Okay, let's let's add a gate. Righty, your next job is to build a habitat <clears throat> from scratch, <laughs> and concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, 
And don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Okay. 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 Let's put it on pause. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Yeah, tigers are kind of a very, very important thing, Majiggy. So we got a concrete, glass, and red brick barrier. Uh, we got a gate. Okay, let's uh, let's put a concrete barrier first. Should we go for the corners first? I, th I feel that the corners are probably a good good starting point. Let's put it there. Can I can I reduce this? Why, what am I? What was this for? What's this do? I don't I don't understand what that does. <laughs> All right, I need to get this thing lined up. Let's go all the way like that. And like so. Concrete barriers. Seems kind of old fashioned, but okay. So how do we reduce the size of this? Um, straight or curved? I'm going to go for curved. Can I get a curved section in there? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Excellent. And then I'm gonna curve it over like so. No, I need I need a straight piece here. Angle snap. No, I don't want angle snap. I want this straight from here. Do we want that? Can I get this a bit shorter? Length. Okay, let's get the length a bit low smaller. Um doesn't wanna okay, let's snap it off. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, like so. Perfect. Let's put the length back again to what it was before. Bam. Bam. I need a bit more length here just to get to this corner. And just a bit less. Dun, 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 dun. Right there. Excellent. And then we get this corner here. It's good, good. Oh, good. Look at that. All right. Perfect. Perfect. A little bit longer. Just a little bit. No, no. Just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We go all the way across like that. And then... Can we connect it up? Yes! Got to connect it up. Excellent. That's the barrier. Goes all the way around. Good, good, good. Let's put some glass. I want some glass over here. That's glass now, I think. Is that is that glass? Is that glass? Uh, that's, it doesn't seem like it was. It was it was supposed to go glass. Can I can I replace this? Oh, there we go. All right. So you gotta select it first, like so, and then click on uh, on glass. Okay, that makes sense. There, and I want glass over here as well. Wow. Ah, this is a very expensive, very, very, very beautiful looking um, enclosure. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Let's put a gate in here as well. I need to put a gate somewhere at the back here, if I can. Because I want the zookeepers. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos. So we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> Uh, how the do we way do, we that? do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay oh. then, you should start by double clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. All right, barrier editing mode, okay. And then we want to do. <clears throat> Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. All right, okay. The barrier selection tool, which is the, this is the barrier selection tool? It doesn't look like I'm doing that. Uh, what's the barrier selection tool? <laughs> Give me the barrier selection tool. What am I looking at? Uh, it says it's supposed to be a barrier selection tool. I don't see it. Where Where is this thing? Should I, should I click this thing again? Uh, it seems to not do that. So let's get rid of that. And can I click on this? Okay, there we go. Edit barrier. This is the entire. Okay, I got, I got the entire barrier selected. I think. Um, no, this is only one. Flat top, flat top. Air, blah, 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 blah. Ah, ships. Where is it? <laughs> you you say barrier selection tool, but I don't see it. Well, let's just double click this again. 
All right, is it this thing? Uh, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, so that's... Get out of my face. Come on, I can't see this thing. I need to select all this stuff. Oh, look at that. That's how that works. So you gotta find that thingy. Then you gotta drag it all the way around. All right, cool. Got, I got all of it. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. 3.7 meters? That's, that's quite quite high. So at least 3.7 meters. That's 3. Point, that's, no, that doesn't, it's not all 3.7 meters. So some of these spots are a little bit less than 3.7. Like there, that's all 3.7. But yeah, let's, let's put this down as 3.7. Okay. And then let's just select this guy and raise him to 3.7. Can we do that? Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. <clears throat> is this a normal thing? Let's put a donation box over here. Uh, should we put this in the middle of the road? I'm not quite sure. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. I think we should also adopt those tigers. Let's go animal trading. <laughs> All right, so go to animal store. No, you have to uh, animal market. Let's select you. Oh, you are expensive. Holy ships. And let's get you adopted. Okay. Uh, sent to zoo. Nice, nice, nice. And here, this guy sent to zoo. Whilst Bam. our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Okay, we'll add a feeding station. Let's go to our habitats. Let's go to food. Can, 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 this thing is in the way. Can I go? Okay, fine. That's 500,000. Holy ships. All right, let's put one over in the middle, like right this there. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Okay, let's get this water. This is calm water, rough water. What is the difference between rough water and calm water? All right, well, that's Yes, valid. that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and what? ostriches, that these do... tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Is that good? If I, I can apparently put it down there, I can also put it like that. It's a bit too much. This is better, right? I like this more. It's more like, it looks more like a natural watering hole. Uh, right clicking it removes it for some reason. Right, Although it does seem kind of shallow. These rocks seem a bit dry. Let's go to the terrain, add some more water. Why not? That looks better, right? Yeah, it looks better. So let's leave it like that. <laughs> let's put a toy in here. Enrichment. Uh, frozen blood pu blood pumpkin. Do we have anything else? We got the scratchy post. Uh, can we can we turn you? Let's let's try and turn you. There. Let's um. Ooh, what are we? What's this for? Oh, you can put it down and up and stuff like that. Ah, I like that. Uh, I need to put it down a bit like that. And can, can, no, go away. What, what happened? Let's put you like that. Well, that was kind of useless. And let's put you, let's 
put you put you there. Yeah, I like that. Good. And the blood pumpkins put under the tree. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a there. shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Alright, so you got a blueprint. That's a Planet Zoo shelter, 8x8x4? Eight by eight by That's huge! All right, so where should we put this thing? I would, I would, nope, no, go away. Uh, ships. Uh, I don't want the heart there. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can't put this somewhere in the corner. Can we put that here? Is that gonna work there? I want to put it there. Is that gonna work? It works. Look at that. Nice. Okay, excellent. Uh, are, the, are the tigers in yet? I don't I don't think they're in yet. Oh, yeah, because it's because we have to put the toggle thingy on. <laughs> so do we have anything else to do? Increase hard shelter welfare to 60%. Increase terrain welfare to 100%. Increase plant welfare to 90%. What does that mean? Can we, do we have to do something with this? Say blueprint. Uh, habitat. Um, bum, 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 bum. Should we? Do we need to add more? Do we have to add more of these things? That's the wrong one. This one. Rotated. Yes. Can can I? Uh, can I do that? Okay. Oh, that, that allows me to rotate like so. I like that. Okay. Let's put it back to movement. Can, can we put it there? I need it right in the corner, not not like all over the place. Um, if we put this somewhere like there, then the guests can watch. Is that gonna work? Can we do that? Is that good? 60%. I'm not quite sure what, 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 what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, but should we remove this? Let's remove this. Demolish and delete. Okay, let's remove that. I don't like that. Uh, let's put this on play. Let's see what happens. So, it says we're supposed to do a lot of other things. Increase hard shelter welfare to 60%. What is that? What does that mean? Increased rain welfare to 100%, increased plant welfare to 90%. Okay, so should we get some nature stuff? Uh, I don't see any nature stuff either. Paths? No, that's something else. Terrain? Um, painting. Grass, long grass. I can't add long grass. Hmm, that's too bad. I can't, I can't do anything with that. Okay, let's uh, add some rough water. What? What? Oh, we got a little tiger. Look at that. Hello, tiger. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Oh, poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Uh, I, I said to the... Uh, look at, there we go. He's hungry and thirsty. And let's go up to terrain. Right what does he need? Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. They need more long grass and some more soil. The long grass animals okay, need then. more Open soil. Open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Let's put uh, let's put some light soil. 
Can we change the intensity of this? Let's go a little bit. Let's make it a little bit small. Let's go try the size. Can we? Can we actually do this? It doesn't want. To, it doesn't want to let me do this. I can't see it. <laughs> uh, it's not letting me do it. Now let's let's try the intensity a bit bigger, a bit more. Can we do the intensity ninety percent? Oh, there we go. It's doing something. Well, well, how how far are we supposed to go with this? Is this supposed to go okay? I can't see. All right. <laughs> this is so incredibly stupid. All right, let's see. Can we? Oh, uh, that's better. That's way better. Okay, that's good. The soil has been good. So that's good. Let's put some more soil over here as well. Add some soil around the edges, so that gives them a little bit of something to walk past. They like that. All right, uh, let me need some more short grass. I guess I, I removed too much of the long grass. Let's put the long short grass back in. There we go. Perfect. Let's put some long grass in here. I guess we have to put it somewhere around. Are we seeing this? This is. I can't seem to. Oh, there we go. That's the long grass coming in. That's good, good, good. Um, are we supposed to put more or are supposed to put less? I don't know, quite sure. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Am I adding long grass here or, no, or what? All right. Oh, maybe we're supposed to remove long grass. Let's put some more short grass. Get rid of this long grass here. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. There we go. Look at that. <clears throat> they say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> <clears throat> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. Alright, got a scenario unlocked. The ape rentis ship? Okay, cool. Eye of the right. tiger. Let's head over to the Indian <laughs> peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. The social welfare. Okay, we got... A uh, statue, a lion silver reward, a reward a statue Borneo orangutan, stone one, and a reward statue timber wolf stone. Oh, that's cool. All right, what do you want from me now? Let's see, uh, gold. So we got we got silver, we got bronze, and now we are in gold. Locate the highlighted area. Okay, that's not that difficult. Let's get out of this place. Let's take this out. The tigers are happy. I wish I could add more to the in the enclosure. That would be cool. Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Yeah, that would be. Uh, animal social welfare is okay. Let's open this up. Social group: too few adults and juveniles in animal social group. Okay. Expand their social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. <clears throat> Alright, so they need more adults and juveniles. Is that what they want? Let's, what, what does she want me to do here, exactly? Uh, Adult now, and place... they've got plenty of space, and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. All right, that's the social tab. Adult population should be... Right, as you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. Mm. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you pop to the animal market then. All right, animal trading. 
Let's go get some more animals. We've got a Indian peafowl. Indian peafowl. Indian peafowl. Okay, cool. Let's get that. Adopt you. Adopt you. And adopt you. Haha. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put you in... Um, <clears throat> wait, where am I supposed to put you? Send to zoo. Put you here. Next one. Oh, that's over there. And this one. Let's send you to the zoo as well. Should we put it on pause for a second? Let's put it on pause for a second. I get the feeling that we're we're missing something here, but okay. Let's go put this one over here Good as work well. Good work on those peafowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. What? The snow leopard is grumpy? All right, we got a snow leopard over here. Where is it? It's got a very small Just bit like of people, snow. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Alright, let's go to barriers. This is a one-way glass. Let's select it first and then Of bam. course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. It's probably a good idea. Let's go to environment. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, terrain, no, enrichment, uh, blah, 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 uh, genetics, this one? No. Overview? What, what did you want me oh, open the heat map? Okay, that's what you want. Okay, okay, all right. <clears throat> as you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. But how do you know? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll find out eventually. <laughs> Let's go to the heaters and coolers. Put a cooler. Uh, this is a. Uh, oh, it has a quite a large area of uh, of effect. Let's add one to close to its uh, its its sleeping zone. Let's add it there. And then let's add another one somewhere, somewhere behind this tree here. I think, like right there, it's probably a good idea. This is for good measure. Let's add another one over here. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so <clears throat> do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. Oh, I will. It'll take I a will. little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. Okay, so they want us to add some more terrain paintings. So we want to, we have to add some more. Wait, what do we want exactly? They, the environment, they need uh, terrain. They need, um, uh, this animal needs less long grass. So we got to remove some less grass. We have to add some more uh, correct amount of rock. The rock amount is okay. But we, can, we can add some more. So let's just add a little bit more rock. Why not? Get rid of some of this long grass, huh? All right, excellent. That's good. Okay, the, the long grass needs to go completely. So let's uh, just get rid of all the long grass because I don't think he likes the long grass. Uh, is there any more long grass here? Let's get give him a little bit more short grass. Ah, ships got too much short grass. So now we got to add some snow. Let's add some snow. Oh, look at that! Let's add a lot, a whole bunch of snow. <laughs> can we do that? Can we add some more snow? 
It doesn't seem to animal needs more snow. I can't add more snow. Because that just gets rid of all the other stuff. Is that, is that supposed to be good? Is that good? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to add as much snow as I possibly can. Why is this animal needs more snow? It's, it's, I, I, I know that, but I can't seem to give you more snow. <laughs> Alright, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, increased terrain welfare to 100%. So he needs more snow, so we need to speed up. Um, the freezing the cold stuff, I guess. So it is cooling at the moment, I think. Is it cooling? So reduce the temperature, that's for sure. And I think that once once the temperature is down low enough, what's this? We got a, we got a train. Why why do we have a train in here? Hmm, strange. Current temperatures are zero. All of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll fix increase up any the issues. average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Uh, okay, the oh, that's a lot of animals that got problems. Oh, that's a lot of animals. Okay, let's go to animal zoo management. Let's check it out. Find As our animals see, here. This list shows you the animals' overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cup by while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. What? Why? Uh, the West African lion seems to be not doing very well. Social is pretty, pretty bad. Um, you know what? We'll have to deal with this in the next episode. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this time. For this little episode here. Um, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did. It was fun. <laughs> it's a little bit, little bit of a, a strange kooky game. It's, it's, it's good fun. I like the building aspect of it and the, the management part and it's, it, it can be a little bit smoother, but it's okay. It's okay, I guess So we're gonna keep on playing to see how what kind of what kind of numbers we can get out of this to see if we can enjoy this a little bit We're gonna make it as fun as possible and uh, I will see you guys in the uh, in the next episode Have a great evening Bye-bye